Okay, so I've just finished the walls, the painting. We are done painting, like painting is done. As you can see, this is the whole room for the most part. Now it's time to move on to the ceiling. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a cloud ceiling down. The first thing I have to do is I have to put oak tag paper over this whole thing. After the oak tag, that's when we lay down the LED strips. My preferable ones that I like is the Govi RGBIC ones. They are the best, I love those. And then after that, that's when we apply the polyfill cotton that goes on it. And um, yeah, but this is a process and a sticky one. So that's why it's good to have this floor and um, cover up. Okay, so I just put the oak tag on the ceiling. Basically, that's gonna be the first layer for the cloud ceiling. And now, after this, uh, we're about to apply the LED lights to it. This looks insane. Look at this. Woo! This is crazy. Oh, and now it's time to put on the actual clouds, which is just polyfill cotton on the actual ceiling. Now this is a, t a really tight and hard process because basically what I have to do is I have to spray adhesive glue on every single piece of cotton and stick it up there piece by piece. So this is gonna take a minute, but it is gonna be so worth it. Look how dope this looks already. that look at this look at this cloud ceiling dog shout out to my wife for helping me she had two days off and she's and she gave them to me God. yeah all right so now what i'm gonna do is uh we're gonna take everything out really clean everything off rip up off all of this masking tape and stuff and then we're going to expose the floor for the first time and literally i could just start moving things in Let's get it. So this is the room. As you can hear, it is not treated. But I will say that the cloud ceiling is helping me with some absorption. No, it's not a perfect situation, but it is giving me some absorption as far as what's hitting the ceiling and stuff like that. I'm gonna add some more stuff as far as an actual floating cloud ceiling at some point, but for right now, I'm really happy. But floors look great, ceiling looks great, walls look great. The beginning. I need the couch, now. Now what I'm gonna do is I have some uh, diffuser panels, uh, wood, uh, that I'm going to paint all white. Uh, I really want the studio to have all white accents everywhere from the panels, from um, the furniture and everything. Since I have the room so dark, I really want the furniture to make everything pop out uh, how it should. I even ordered my desk, that'll be in another video. Can't wait for that to come. I have a really, really big desk. Shout out to my guy Jay. Um, that hooked me up and made sure uh, that I got everything I needed. So instead of buying some brand new panels and stuff like that, all I'm gonna do is just take these and wrap them in the color that I want. Super cheap, the, the material probably cost me, what, 60 bucks for the material for everything. Um, 
Like I said, I'm doing this on a budget, so let's paint. So uh, I just got back from the fabric store. I've also added some diffusion to my back wall, which is right here. Um, I'm also going to add some more to my front wall, which is over there on that side. So what I'm gonna do is, I went to the fabric store and got a little creative. And what I'm gonna do is, as you can see, I'm gonna wrap my acoustic panels in this white material. Okay, so this is insane because I really got into this studio build with no plan. But I'm doing this on a really, really tight budget. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm really impressed with what what it, it is coming out to be. I'm, I'm getting really excited. For instance, I just finished the back wall, like, and it has these LED panels that were once on the side that if you've seen from my previous tutorials. And then I got this really dope table that now I'm gonna be able to do like product, product, product placements and stuff of that nature. Um, on a table and kind of show you guys like microphones and interfaces and things like that nature. And what's cool about it is it also has storage. So I can actually store stuff inside of here and move the table and close it. Just really sick. This space is becoming literally my dream without me realizing, oh wow, this is kind of building my dream space. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. Is it, you know, uh, super soundproof? No. Um, is it aesthetically the room that I want to create and in, uh, inspiration from? Absolutely. I, I'm gonna find out what the problems are and make note of that and adjust myself and my ears to that. Absolutely. I've made some of my best records and my best music in my mother's bedroom back in the day. You don't need a bunch of stuff to make things happen, you know, and I wanna keep hold to that at this time because I'm not the richest guy in the world. But one day, we can really do something tight. But for right now, I'm doing this on a really tight budget. And I hope this is helping someone to see that, you know, it doesn't take a lot um, of money to make something like this happen. Just takes, if you got a space and you got a few dollars in your pocket and you are crafty, you can really, really do something cool. I hope you guys are enjoying this Bill Verde video so far. Um, it's only the beginning, I can't wait. That TV is gonna get way bigger. Trust me, watch and see. Okay, so this is random, this is impromptu, and I know this is weird, there's a bunch of people in the studio. We're hanging out, my wife is here, her sister, my the cousins, my sister, her husband. It's a bunch of stuff going on. Uh, this is the studio build, I'm still working on it, but um, yeah, it's just, it's now it's a party, I don't know what happened. And my wife is here, and my 